What's up? Welcome back to the vlog. For those of you who are new here, my name is Steph and today we are in a hotel room because we, we being Aaron and I, my best friend, um, we have flown to Greece. We are kicking off our summer Euro trip. We do one of these now every year. Um, we're starting it in Athens and we are going to spend today at the Acropolis and we're gonna go to the like Parthenon? Pantheon? Pantheon? One second while I look this up. We're going to the Acropolis. We're gonna climb the Acropolis to the Pan Pantheon. Man, my brain is not my brain is not burning today. I know exactly what we're doing. I just The Parthenon, the, yeah, Parthenon, my God. We're going to the Parthenon, um, which is so stunning. I'm so excited for this. Photos from the Parthenon have been on my Pinterest, like wish list, mood boardy thing that I do forever. And we're actually gonna go do that. And then we're probably just going to kind of walk around the area. We're staying near like Syntigma Square sort of situation. So there's a lot to do here. One of my boyfriend's friends is Greek. I believe he is actually from Athens proper. And he gave me a whole like list of like recommendations. And most of them do happen to be in the immediate area of where we're staying, which is really useful. So we're gonna go do that. Um, our like Pantheon Parthenon tickets also have access to other museums and stuff as well so if we do feel like doing that we will go then we're gonna go have dinner probably catch an early ish night and then tomorrow we head to milos Ooh. hello okay we are in Plaka currently um, we're gonna find something to eat and then we're going to walk to the Acropolis and go to the Parthenon. We've hiked up to like the entrance and the Acropolis is behind us and it's honestly not giving safety first. And people are staring at me. But that's okay. For the vlog, for the maps, for the content. Yeah, we're gonna go up and hopefully it doesn't rain on us. Um, I think this is truly the one day all year that it's rained in Athens. Because of course we're here. No, so. Made it to the top. We are very happy campers. Old things are cool. The Acropolis is surprisingly slippery. Like, I, I didn't eat shit. <laughs> Did not have slippery marble in my bingo card. I guess I should have thought about that, but yeah. Anyways, the sun is gonna come out maybe a little bit, but it is spitting. But hopefully it comes out so we can get some nice photos. Okay guys, 
So we have changed for dinner. We uh, got a Fredo cappuccino affogato after we finished at the Roman Agora. We were very, very much on the struggle bus. But we came back, we chilled at the pool for a little bit, just like chilled and now we are changed. So I will show you guys a little outfit of the night and we're gonna go head out and have some dinner and we're probably just gonna have a really early night because neither of us are really feeling like doing very much. So that's where we're at. Woo. Okay, outfit of the night is the dish like crocheted sweater top and then my like rough knit skirt that came with a kit, Sunday best bag and teats. And that's what we're working with tonight. start the beginning of our island hopping big hit. But I have to show you guys the view from our hotel. It's unreal. This is stop number two. We took the ferry earlier and the actual ferry process itself was a little, not really chaotic. There's just not a lot of instructions, but you just kind of follow the pack and it's all good. We ended up getting platinum seats, which were truly life-saving. Not really life-saving. Um, I think we would have been fine in like the general thing, but we didn't know, and this is one of our longest Ferry, so we decided to upgrade and we got like the layback seats and stuff like that. So it was super nice, very organized, very clean, just actually like very enjoyable. Both Aaron and I slept for the first two hours of the journey and then we um, got up and it was kind of golden hour and took some photos. It was really beautiful, just enjoyed the view and then got to Milo's. Our hotel is right in like the town, like the main town of Adamantis, um, which is so easy, so convenient, and very much like central, like centrally located. It was really easy to get to and really easy to find. We did drag our bags because they were like, oh, there's no need to get a taxi. And when we did the walk, it was like, yeah, there is no need to get a taxi, but same time you're dragging like a heavy suitcase through town. Um, it wasn't too bad. It was like 500 meters, like a half kilometer, but 
that's kind of it. I'm just waiting for Aaron to get back. Um, we decided to kind of divide and conquer while I showered and got ready. Aaron went to go get some provisions for tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to go to Sarah Kiniko and we're going to like hike. Um, like not really hike, but there's not any infrastructure at Sarah Kiniko. So you need to bring out your own food, your own towels, like all of that sort of stuff. So she went to go get provisioned for that. I got ready. Um, very basic makeup. I just added a little bit of Space Cowboy on my eyes for some fun intrigue. And that's about it. I'm gonna take five seconds to check my email and do all that because I just got Wi-Fi for the first time since leaving our hotel today. So I'm a little behind on this guy, but it's okay. It's been going well. I'm gonna upload some stories and just kind of catch up in this in-between kind of time that we have. Um, but it is so beautiful. We are in town though, so we don't really have like crazy, crazy views, but I did take it. It's just like nice, like on the main street sort of thing, but we got a little bit of baklava and stuff for breakfast. I know baklava is a dessert, but we got it for brekkie. Um, and then we're gonna have that and we're gonna there's one place apparently open that has coffee and our transfer to Sarah Kiniko is in 45 minutes so hopefully we can like you know get everything done <laughs> but we're gonna have a really good day here on Milos
I really don't know if I checked in with you guys earlier today. We okay. <laughs> we left in kind of a hurry this morning. Like we weren't really in a hurry, but we left ourselves what we thought was a good like a good amount of time, and then we got a text like five minutes before our pickup time from the guy who was picking us up, being like, "Are you ready?" And we were both like, "Huh," ah! and then he was like. Oh, I'll be there in 10 minutes. And we're both like, really? 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 Couldn't have told us that like a little sooner so that we would not, you know, rush, panic, whatever. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. We went to the Sarah Kaniko today on Milo's, which you guys saw. And oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. It is. <laughs> Do you need help? <laughs> Okay. Um, Erin just may, may need help with her clothing. Got it? Got it? Um, it was so beautiful. It is otherworldly. Um, it's kind of interesting because it's actually quite a bit smaller in real life than it looks in the photos. Like there's like one Pinterest photo that everybody like saves, I'm assuming. Like I saved it like 18 billion times. And then when I actually got there, where it's actually like the Pinterest photo is quite a bit smaller than I thought, but it's still really beautiful. It's so windy there though. Oh my gosh. We stayed, from, we got there at 8.30 ish and we stayed till 5.10 and like by about 3.30, we were both just absolutely done with how windy it was because our towels kept blowing up sand kept getting in our eyes and everywhere and we while we were mentally prepared for the wind we were not mentally prepared for a hundred percent of the side effects of the wind so keep that in mind if you are planning a trip we are now just getting ready we're gonna take the bus to Plaka and go have dinner in Plaka we originally were only gonna eat in Adamas for the most part but I think tonight we're gonna we're gonna go to Plaka tonight and then tomorrow we might go to Mondraki, Mondrakia, something like that. One of the other fishing villages. So, that's very exciting. We are now exploring more of the island. Definitely, like at first we blocked off five full days here and then we reduced it to two and a half days here or something like, or no, just two full days. Um, and then like we leave the day after at 7 a.m. and got in at 7 p.m. But, Truth be told, now that we've been here once, I definitely think if we were to come back again, we would probably budget more time here because there are so many villages and things to do. And like from Polona, Polonia, you would take like a little boat across, like a water taxi to the other island that's nearby and get, like have a really nice beach day there that's apparently super lovely. And there's just so many little towns and stuff, so. I think that's true of anywhere, but definitely here, we probably would have been happy spending so much more time here, but we didn't because of hotels and whatnot, but yeah, just for future reference, we now know that there's a lot to do. Well, I mean, there's gonna be a lot to do on every single island. We're gonna say this every time, but yeah. I mean, we're gonna go catch our bus, go to dinner, and I will share some clips with you guys as we go.
us. We just spent the day on a boat. It was unreal. It's so beautiful. Um, we are heading to Kalima to go see the sunset and have some dinner. Hopefully it's okay. The guy at our hotel, um, who's like helping us arrange transfers and stuff, was not super jazzed about Kalima. And we're kind of hoping, well, I'm just hoping Aaron is a little indifferent on the matter. <laughs> I'm hoping that it's because he's like come here every single summer and it's just like not jazzed by like the touristy destinations and it's more focused on like where there are good restaurants and stuff. And like normally I would say yes to that, except I just really want to see this town and this is the only time we have to see it. And, and yeah, unfortunately it is what it is on a schedule like ours where we're trying to get a lot in. But we're gonna head out and I will take you guys along for the view. Welcome to, I don't even know what day it is. I think it's day four or day five in Greece. So today we are up early. It is 7.12. I've been up since like 6.20ish. Um, and I'm heading out. We gotta go. We have a ferry at eight o'clock in the morning to Mykonos, which is the first like kind of main, like, not the first, like this is the first stop obviously, but I think like Mykonos is like the first big island we're going to. And I'm so excited to go to Mykonos. I just like, I was so hesitant about it and now I'm so excited to go. I just think it's gonna be like such a fun time. I'm gonna stay super positive, super optimistic. I know that there's like potential for like us getting scammed and stuff in terms of like pricing, but I think it's gonna come in stride and like a learning experience and I'm so stoked for it. Um, and I'm also just excited to like experience something else. We've been here for now, we've been here for two days. There definitely could have been a third day worth of stuff done. Um, but I'm overall like really happy with what we did. And I think honestly, like I would have been, I think I would have felt like okay leaving after yesterday if the weather had allowed us to like go around the north side of the island as well because what ended up happening is the wind from the north side of the island was so strong that we could only stay on the south side of the island and it, that meant that like any like we only stayed like in the exact spot that's sheltered from that like wind and so we didn't see like the Saracenico from the water. We didn't go past like Mandrakia. We didn't go past Klima. Like we didn't go past all of these villages and stuff. So, cause like, I think what happens is normally we're picked up in Adamas and then we go out past Klima side and then like around and like down to the south um, and then end at like the Kleptiko and then like circle back but we didn't we just like went back and forth across the south side it was still beautiful it was still lovely like the water here is lovely and warm it was still super windy on the south side so i can only imagine if it was that windy on the south side how windy it would be on the north side so i'm glad that they made that choice i think it's also like safety and like it would, it's it's really choppy here in the wind obviously so yeah but I'm excited to like see what else there is. It's so we're like right on the main street in Adamas, pretty much that comes like into Adamas. So it's a little loud, sorry. But it is like it's so beautiful here. But yeah, I'm excited. Mykonos is gonna be a little bit more like sightseeing. Um, we have one beach club booked, which is gonna be great. After Sarah Kaniko, we are so excited to like comfortably sit and 
to like tan. Um, Sarah Kaniko was comfortable-ish, but there was so much wind and there was so much sand and there was so much salt from the spray that you were coated in a fine layer of sand and salt the entire day, which wasn't super comfortable to sit in. But I'm hoping at Mykonos, one, there's a fresh water shower at the beach club to like rinse off. And two, there is like clean change rooms or bathrooms or something like at Scogliera because that would be super nice and helpful. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go and finish up packing up now that I've had a little chat with you guys and I will take you along my day today going to Mykonos. Okay, we are now in Mykonos quickly vlogging before the room gets absolutely chaotic but this room is is so small but it's so cute and we have such a nice view show you guys it's so cute so we have like a little balcony and apparently sunset is here and it's quite small these are the beds but it's nice it was so funny, like, as we were... Oh, shit, this is the bathroom first. It's nice. Very small, very cute. So, as we were, like, doing the check-in process, the front desk, he was so nice, and he was explaining, like, all of these different things to us. And he, as he was, like, talking and kind of giving us recommendations, everything was like, oh, like, this is on the spreadsheet. This is something we looked at, like... We have a rezzo here. We have res like it was really great. And in the research, in the book club booking, he was like, "Oh, good. You like this book, this beach club. Sorry, this beach in the beach club booking." He was like, uh, he was giving us like feedback on everything or like telling us what was up. He's like, "Oh yeah, this one is like not the most expensive one." And I was like, "Nice, <laughs> good on me." But it was still pricey. Um, but to be fair, we're. We were used to like last year at like Daluigi and Scoguera with those pricing and the beds here are actually less expensive than the beds um, at Scoguera. But I have a feeling that the food is going to be more expensive here than at Scoguera. But we were kind of mentally prepared for that knowing like beach clubs and the, how they're organized and whatnot. So it's more for the experience than anything else. But yeah, I don't know. We'll... I don't know, I'll keep you guys updated and informed on how everything kind of goes down. We're going to quickly like unpack and get ready and then we're probably going to head into town and just like walk around and explore and then um, see kind of like what is up and then maybe decide if we want to do like a second beach day here um, on our third day or go to like one of the other towns or something like that. So we're going to do that and yeah, see you guys with me. afternoon guys we have gotten changed I'm wearing like oh the white dress from commands I forgot to show you guys in the hotel room but there's not a lot of room so I would encourage you all to go to the Instagram and the TikTok for the looks for the fits um, we are now just like an ATV coming we are heading down into like the town of me like in Mykonos and we're just gonna like try and find some coffee, try and find some food, walk around and familiarize ourselves with the place. We're only staying apparently like a five minute walk from one of the like pedestrian gates into the town, which is super convenient. However, it is downhill on the way there, which means it's gonna be uphill tonight on the walk home, but that's all good. Um, it's so beautiful and honestly, already just like in our hotel, We've already taken some fire outfit photos. So excited. This is definitely part of the vacation that I live for when it's like we already have the outfits done. It's like, it's like first stop of the day. Anyways, I'm gonna put y'all away because people are looking at me and focus on not getting hit by cars on these windy ass roads. So I'll show you guys around.
guys. I obviously <laughs> look a little sick. Tell me how I'm still living this room. <laughs> I'm going into the bathroom for good lighting and to let Erin do her eyeliner in peace so you guys can also see the makeup. Okay, we are going out tonight in Mykonos. It is 9.20. We had a late lunch, so we're going to go for a late din. Um, both of us really want pizza. I know we're in Mykonos, so we're trying to have Greek food. Um, but guys, I don't know. Just something right now, like a pizza? Oh, like a pepperoni pizza or like a like margarita with like added arugula and prosciutto. Oh my God. Mm. Anyways, I don't know. So we're gonna go out. I think we're gonna go to the Scandinavian bar first. We'll see. Um, effectively, our front desk told us, he was like, you can just walk around um, like the town and you'll hear the music and you'll see the people and you'll get a, get a sense of the vibes and you will be able to kind of determine what you wanna do from that. So. We're gonna do that, um, but this is the makeup. We're going glam tonight. And then I'm wearing this like orange tube dress from Ref. I'll link my looks below. But that is the plan. Erin um, is finishing up her makeup. I'm probably gonna read for a little bit while she does that and be here for moral support for the glitter portion. <laughs> Just in case, okay? What glitter should I use? For what? See? Can you hear this already? But yeah, okay. I'm gonna help Erin get ready, finish get ready. Just with the glitter advice, nothing serious. She's already done like 95% of her makeup. This is just like a finishing. Yeah, I'm not a lost cause. <laughs> I never said you were a lost cause. I know, I know. Like, she looks so pretty. Look, so pretty. With my clips in my hair. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna help and uh, I'll probably just talk to you guys tomorrow because. It's gonna be a late one. And I'm gonna leave you in the safe so that you're safe. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome to day two in Mykonos. We went out last night, we had a blast. Um, I did not drink at all. I think Erin only had like maybe two drinks over the whole night. Yep. So it was not a big like drinking night, but it was a really fun party night. Like we went and we danced. We went to the Scandinavian bar at the end of it, all things said and done, um, which was really fun. It does give like university bar vibes in terms of like the crowd and how people behave, which was really interesting, but the music was good and we had a really good time. Now we are gonna head to breakfast. This is the latest start we've had all trip. Um, but we're gonna go to breakfast, we're gonna get a, um, a taxi arranged and then at 11ish, we're gonna head to Kahlua Beach Club. And hopefully it doesn't rain on us because it's so overcast, look. Uh, like all of those clouds and stuff and it's been raining kind of on and off all morning so fingers crossed for us Welcome back to another day in Mykonos. Today we went to Delos and I took some clips. I just like didn't talk to you today. Today's been such a rush and we are literally rushing out the door right now, but I thought I was going, like I need to check in. I have to grab something out of the safe before we leave and I'm gonna pop you guys back because we are going out for dinner. And then I don't know if we're gonna come back here first or just stay in town and like see like kind of what's going on. But we are wrapping up our last night here in Mykonos really strong. And yeah, we're gonna go enjoy the night. Um, I'll show like iPhone clips, I think. But yeah, this is the look. The top is rough. This skirt is like a maxi skirt from Dish. And I just went like really, really bold with the eyes because 
I don't know if on like Paros and Onaxos people get like this dressed up. I think in Santorini they will, but like definitely Mykonos, I can get away with like full glam and I love it. Yeah, okay. I will probably just talk to you guys tomorrow um, when we're on our way to Paros. Good morning guys, I'm sorry if it's kind of windy. We are currently at the port waiting for our ferry to come in. We're heading to Paros this morning. And this is honestly, this is one of our shorter ferries. The last two have been like two, three hours a piece. This one is only 35 minutes. So I think we're actually like finally stoked to not be on a ferry for so much of our day and to be able to just quickly transit between ports. Last night we went out to the Scandinavian bar again and it was still fun but definitely a different vibe than Tuesday. Like Tuesday there was a lot more like, I feel like a lot more like Europeans that were there on Tuesday and then last night when we went it was a lot of like Americans and stuff and like so like the music was different, the vibe was kind of different. Still good but like Tuesday was definitely more fun for us I think. Um, and we had an amazing dinner at Katarina's in Little Venice. So beautiful, the food was so good, the service was amazing, and the views were just unreal. And overall, so far, so good, but we're definitely excited to be heading to a like more quiet island that's a little bit like back to Milos sort of vibes in terms of like off the beaten path and like you know, less crowded, less fit, like less giant cruise ships and stuff. So it's gonna be a nice change of pace. And then probably by the time we're done Paros and Naxos, we're gonna be stoked to go to San Turkey and have some crowds again. So, you know, nubs and flows, but I think we like planned the trip well for that. So I'm gonna stop vlogging because it's so awkward, some people, but I'm like telling myself nobody knows me and will not see me again. But last night we did see somebody that I know and like Aaron knows of through like my like recounting experiences with them out at the bar in Mykonos. I didn't say hi, I chose to protect my beast, but it was so weird to see that. I was like, huh? But yeah, anyways, I don't know if we'll cross paths with them again, but the other thing is we've been meeting so many people from Toronto here and it's kind of funny, like we just have been finding just really, really lovely people from Toronto that we have like either mutual friends or so many things like in common with them and it's been kind of fun. Good afternoon guys, we've made it to Paros. We are staying at Minoy. I think we want to keep pronouncing it Minois um, because of our French backgrounds in high school, but we are staying at the most beautiful hotel like so far of the trip. Look at this view. Look at that. So stunning. That is the ocean. And I did a load of laundry. <laughs> I had a bunch of like larger linen pieces that I wanted to make sure that I got them cleaned because they're easier to like pack back when they are rolled in the packing cubes. So I just wanted to do that. And this is our room. Let's see. So cute. Oh, there's Erin and Nikki. No worries. But it has like this little shelf. Sorry. We're gonna avoid Erin. <laughs> and then this is the bathroom. It is so aesthetic. Like so, so beautiful. So our plan, so our plan right now is we're going to head to the pool. We're gonna read, we're gonna chill. And we're gonna kind of be there for the next, I don't know, few hours. And then we're going to head somewhere for dinner. And then we are going to catch, hopefully a somewhat early night's sleep and then go to our boat day tomorrow. So our schedules got changed around. We were going to beach club tomorrow, boat day Sunday, but the uh, tour provider for the boat day was like, mm, Sunday's gonna be a bit rough terms of wind and stuff so we are now on a uh, Saturday boat day and a Sunday beach day 
The Sunday of the beach day, we're going to head also to Nusa. Nasa. The main like. Monastery. Hmm? Uh, Monastery. Monastery is the beach club, but the town is Nausa. Um, I keep wanting to call it Nassau. But that's in the Bahamas. That is not in Greece. That is not in Greece. Not the right pronunciation. Not the right word. Um, and so we're gonna do beach club and the town on that day, and then we're going to ooh, moving, and then we're going to boat tomorrow. So I'm super excited. Our boat cruise, I think, is just like Paros and Antiparos, which will be great because we don't have any day trips booked planned for Antiparos. So this is kind of how we're gonna see both islands, and hopefully the weather is good tomorrow and it's a sunny day it's sunny today but of course it's sunny on our transit day not on our like beach day or anything in Mykonos but it was okay it ended up working out just fine but we're gonna go take advantage of that right now and honestly kind of catch up on some rest and relaxation Welcome to our first, well, first full day in Paris. You guys will have seen the clips and the inevitable voiceover that came from today. But we had another boat day, another boat day sleigh, if you will. Um, it was such a good time. This boat was like so beautiful. And I think on Milos, we definitely were... Um, on the rugged end of the spectrum. Um, it was still lovely, it was super fun. Like the people we met on the boat in Milos were great. Um, but this boat was just stunning. Like with the hotel, um, Paros is just elevating our standards to an unreachable level that we didn't know existed. And I think Erin was very pleased with the boat choice today because she was like, I'm living my best luxurious life. Sorry. You were very happy with the boat today because you were oh, living yeah. your best luxury life. Destined for a life of luxury. From the horse's mouth. Exactly. Um, but we uh, just got back to our hotel, Minoy, 
Minoyi. The French of me still wants to pronounce it Minoyi, but that's so wrong. Um, but look what they gave us. Well, mostly Erin. It's addressed to Erin, not to me. But we both paid for it, so there you go. Yeah, we did. Well, we're splitting the cost of the trip equally, obviously, but... They gave us a little bottle of wine, and look at this note they wrote to Erin. Apparently, Thank you. well, it's Mrs. Young, so we are we are partners. <laughs> yeah, but we are we are going to uh, we're gonna have a cup of tea. I did bring some tea from home because. You know what, hot girls have stomach problems and sometimes the only thing that'll fix it is a cup of ginger tea. Um, so yeah, I have these. They're like instant ginger. They're good, they're sweet. Um, and they also got gave us some macarons, which are so cute and water, but yeah, overall, I don't even know if I've really showed you guys the room, but Everything here is just so good. Like a next level from kind of anything we've experienced so far. Like even the nice hotel we stayed at in Italy was honestly not as nice as this. Like the staff are so much better. Like Marguna was nice, but this is a, this is a sleigh. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, okay. I'm gonna stop vlogging and I'm going to uh, I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and eat the cookie because I'm hungry. Good morning, guys. It is day three here on Paros. Our second full day, but third day in total. We are heading out to a beach club today, but it's already 11. This is actually one of our like later starts that we've had, and it has been so lovely to just chill and not really like have any like arbitrary deadlines i mean we did have a reservation at 10 but i don't think they're super strict on it um so we'll see how that goes but we're heading to the beach club it's called um monastery oh my god i already pronounced it this morning to me and now i'm forgetting how it's pronounced I will put it on the screen because my brain is not working. Erin and I have both had two, uh, I had a tea this morning in the room and then a coffee at breakfast. And Erin had two coffees at breakfast and I think we're still both a little on the struggle bus for some reason with our tiredness levels. We definitely got quite far behind the, like quite behind on our sleep schedule. So we are very much looking forward to today to just chill. And also after today, we go to Naxos and for like tomorrow and the day after. And I think the first day in EO. So we have nothing planned. Like we have no schedule, no agenda, no like tours, nothing. And we're gonna take it at our own pace. Um, we've definitely hit a little bit of a maybe roadblock, well, like a wall per se, with just we have been so busy, so on the go, that it's been not as much rest and recovery as probably need be. So, looking forward to that, and I'm so looking forward to this beach club today. Everybody has raved about it. It has been like talked about a lot with um, the staff that work here. They're all like, this is a great place to go. So we're very, very excited for that. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to find my hair tie and <laughs> sign off. And I will obviously, of course, talk to you guys and check in a little bit later.